case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A real estate deal involving a beer tavern, a trailer, and a mismanaged escrow resulted in a landmark 1950 court hearing, Lechner v. Halling, overseen by the Washington Supreme Court. The ruling offers critical insights into the execution and validation of escrow agreements. The dispute began back in December 1947, when Leslie A. Lechner enlisted the services of Donahue Realty Company to sell his beer tavern property in Darrington, Washington. The Hollings, represented by Mrs. C.A. Donahue and Mr. Sant, agreed to buy the establishment for $13,000. They made an initial payment of $2,000 as earnest money, which was placed in escrow and handed over the certificate of title and registration documents for a trailer to Donahue Realty. The Hollings paid a further sum of $9,000 in Mr. Lechner's office on December 24th, facilitated by Mr. Sant. A twist in the tail came when Donahue mismanaged the funds, a situation that jeopardized the recovery of the full sum by the rightful owner. Given these complications, the case was escalated to court to discern the validity of the escrow agreement and to ensure that all conditions attached to the disbursement of funds were met before all property titles transferred to the haulings. Unfazed by the convoluted situation, the court wielded its gavel in favor of the haulings. The judges ruled that the escrow agreement was valid and the delivery of the trailer was not a precondition for it to take effect. In the end, the court concluded that Mrs. Donahue, who served as Mr. Lechner's agent, bore the responsibility for the financial loss stemming from her mismanagement of the funds. This decision underscored that the escrow agreement was complete once the necessary documents switched hands and the payment was accepted, irrespective of the physical delivery of the trailer. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.